We all want our unique sense of style to shine in our homes. The way we decorate can have a huge impact on how we feel and how our guests feel when they come to visit. So why not add some custom art pieces to your decor that are as unique as you are? Megan Penning is the co-owner of Penning Plasma Cutting, and she's here to show us how they can create a custom piece of metal art for your home that is sure to wow any guest who comes to visit. Welcome, Megan. Thank you. This is so unique and interesting. First, I just want to hear how you even got started in this. So my husband used to be a race car driver, and so he originally bought it to just make race car parts, to build chassis and things like that. And then we eventually saw the point and the potential that we had in the, excuse me, the machine itself. And it has so much more potential than just cutting out standard objects. So we realized that we could do pictures, we could do d different designs, things like that. So then it turned into, instead of just a hobby for race car driving, it turned into a hobby of making metal. Yeah, it's amazing and fascinating all the different things you can do and making it 3D and bring it to life. But let's kind of walk through the process of, of how you do this. We have some video that takes us through the whole cutting process and how you create these pieces, but just kind of explain what you do. So it first starts with, in a machine, we program the picture itself as to what the picture or what we want to cut out. So in the video, it's showing a design being cut out with a plasma machine. And we do the design work, so I have a graphics degree. I can design whatever is needed to make the object that we are cutting out. And then it essentially just goes on this axis, on this flat sheet, and cuts it out. Um, that is actually cutting out the piece that we have here that is not painted or colored or textured at all. Um, with it, it just goes through, cuts it out, and then we pull it off of the piece itself. Once we have that done, we take it and it's got what we call it. So this is the piece we were just watching video of. Yep, this is the piece that was just cut out. And then on the back side of it, it's got some slag on it. So this is the raw metal itself. Okay. Um, we then take it and after we have that done, we run it through a sander. It's a big, huge belt sander. And that's what this piece looks like itself. Um, this one has been clear coated. So once we've done the sanding of it, it cleans up the metal, makes it look nice, makes it look essentially pieced together, um, not so rough on the edges and right. stuff. And then um, we can clear coat it or we can paint it. This one is a powder coated. So we do all of this in our shop. We do the cutting out, the designing, all of the different pieces, and we have thousands and thousands of colors. So. Wow, so how do you take a piece and make it like this, like 3D? So these are all individual pieces that are cut out. So we lay all of our pieces out. Um, we have a tumbler that tumbles them and knocks off what is the slag, which is the back pieces on the flat metal. Um, and then we go and we do pieces. So it's kind of like those, some people know like the wood pieces that you can put together and glue together. Right. It's like a puzzle. So we puzzle it together and then we weld it. So we tack weld it together. And then once we have that done, we um, sandblast it. The littler ones we can sandblast really easy. And once the sandblasting is done, we then take it in and powder coat it. Wow. It's just fascinating to me how you can actually get this, you know, put together and make it stay. And mm -hmm. it's beautiful. I want to talk a little bit, too, about how you took the word welcome and you created that, but then you put it on a wreath or another home decor item. Yep. So this was explaining a little bit. So the welcome is the piece that we cut out ourselves. Um, the rest of it, of course, is store-bought stuff. But I was trying to show people, because I had a lot of clients and customers that would come in and say, well, how do you incorporate this in? Where would I put it? What would I do with it? And I would always tell them, well, I always put it in a wreath. I've always changed it out, put it into my wreath. So that explains a little bit more as to how you can, just a visual representation of what we can do with our pieces. Now, as far as options and variety, I mean, how large can you make these pieces? So our table is a 5 by 10 foot table. So it fits a 5 by 10 foot sheet of metal. We can cut that large. We can cut that big. Um, so as long as it fits in there, you're good to go. So essentially, you could get a huge dragonfly. Or you were telling me yep. you have a butterfly? Yep. So I have a butterfly that stands about three feet tall. The wow. tallest we've done is just shy of five feet. Um, is the tallest the butterfly does. The wings flap when it gets that big in the wind. Um, that one actually is out um, on a farm 
and the wings flap in the wind and we have it kind of mounted into the ground. It doesn't move. It's definitely a heavy piece, so. Now you said you have a ton of different colors. Yep. But is this the only metal that you use? Uh, yes, so we use this metal for the most part. Um, we've done hot rolled and cold rolled. Okay. Um, but we find that this one's the best that kind of does our sticks to the metal, the paint sticks to the metal, the powder coating sticks to the metal to make it kind of look the best. It gives you the best finished color. So what do a lot of people, when reaching out to you for customized products, what do a lot of people get these for? Um, so a lot of them there, we've done a lot of like farm signs. So out in somebody to welcome them to their farm, we've done those. We've done some business logos. Uh, business is asking for us to make the logo itself so that they can display it on the wall. Um, we do quite a few um, custom orders for like, somebody has a certain mem memorial or something like that. We've done different pieces of like birthday presents, Christmas yeah. presents, things like that. So that's also a big thing that we do. Um, we do a lot of pieces for males, for men, because this is something that's very geared towards those guys. Yeah, as soon as I saw you come in, I was like, I bet a lot of people want these for their man caves. Definitely. So, this is so unique, so interesting. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing the process behind it all with us. You're welcome. You can talk through your design with Megan and place your order by giving Penning Plasma Cutting a call at 605-940-5036. You can also send them an email or follow them on Facebook at Penning Plasma Cutting.